Hey yo, what's going on my viewers and subscribers and coming at you again with another great one. This one is entitled Jalil by Robert Nesta Marley, popular known as Bob Marley. Got my tailor right here. Grab your acoustic. Let's go. Jalil Children, yeah. Ja, ja, live. Children, yeah. Ja, live. Children, yeah. Ja, ja, live. Children, yeah. The truth is an affair. But not a sin He see you last love He see you with It's a foolish love Alright, so now that we zoomed in, right? Um, This song is a very big hit, you know? Very big hit uh a subscriber reminded me of this one i used to sing this one back in the days so um i've never played it but you know got up this morning and said you know what let me just jump to it you know so here i am teaching you folks right so um of course that that's just what you saw at the first at the beginning of the video that was just me jamming you know just playing whatever all right so um there are many ways to play this song right so and of course, I did not use a pick because I just hit the sound of um, picks on um, acoustic guitar. I don't know. That's just my, you know, that's my preference. All right. So if you like using a pick, please go ahead and do so. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. All right. I like using the thumb or the nails right here. So it drops right in between. All right perfect for me no so but what i want you folks to pay attention to is the cards all right and i'm gonna hand out a few different strum patterns that you can use you know whatever makes you feel good because i mean you're the only one gonna be playing so you don't want to be you want to jam and you know feel good so so here we go all right so of course this song is in the key of b b major all right so um so we got a B. We have an F sharp major. We have an E major. And sometimes we have a G sharp minor. Or A flat minor if you wanna call it that. Now do know some people can play it right here. You know, it gives a brighter sound, but acoustic eyes, you know. I prefer playing it here. You can play it here. And it will sound good. I guess, you know. So that's a one to the five. To the four. And a one, five, to six. So those are the only cards used in this song. Alright, the intro. When you get to the intro, so let me play it where I play it, and then we can get to this after, all right? So, um, the intro. So the intro is one, five, four. And I think you play it again. One, five, four, again. When it gets to the chorus, it's one, five, six. And if you sing the chorus, you will hear it. Ja live, children, yeah. You just compliment it, it sound real. Good. So that's it. All right. So you're gonna you remember if you do not know the structure of the song, go back, listen to the original, and come back here. All right. Know the different parts: the intro, chorus, and verse all right this song has no no bridge all right so um so here we go so to farm this b major you want to bar the whole second fret 
with the pointer finger you want to place that ring finger on the second third and fourth string of the fourth fret so you bar this then you want to play so you want to play those you're going to be playing from the fifth string string down to the second string last string is option the first string is optional all right so so that's the one now to get the five the five is the f sharp right there so you want to bar the whole second fret again with the pointer finger this is just for stability all right you want to place the middle finger on the third string third fret pinky finger on the fourth string fourth fret ring finger on the fifth string fourth fret And that right there is your your five. To get the, to the four, you want to push this a hole down. And now remember, it's going to be E major. So now, this open card right there, that one is an open. So you don't need the pointer finger anymore because this is already barred. All right. So shall live. No, it's my bad. It's the, the, the intro. If you want to strum it. Chorus. Shall live children, yeah. So you're going to play the first two cards the same. The one to the five. Now you're going to go to the six. Now you want to push this formation up you want to have the pointer finger barring the fourth fret right there right now your only thing you're going to do is lift the middle finger so instead of getting you're going to get i know i'm not giving the middle finger right here yeah so shall live children yeah shall live Children, yeah. All right, that you know, basically, that's that's the song, that's the whole song. When it gets to the verse, you're gonna get the truth is an offense. You're basically playing what you play at the intro. No, you do not really want to just play this right throat and whatever, you want to kind of spice it up. So, what I do, I do a little bit. Children. So I play one to the five to the six five six. We gotta be real quick. Children, yeah. Ja -ja -live. Children, yeah. All right. If you can do that, splendid. Cool. So. Because the bass line is. So if you follow the bass line, you can get a little bit of that. You know? So, yeah. That's it for that part. And, um. What else? So when you get to the. When you, when you, when you, when you get to the verse now. Instead of playing the same thing over and over, you can go. The truth is an offense. Keep that. But not a sin. Right? So what I played, I played the E, but I played all the way up here. The eight fret, you know? It's like a barn that one, you wanna bring the one all the way up to eight. So your point of finger should be barn the eight fret and it's the same formula. But then I change before I move. There's another E right there. That's just me spicing it up. And to get this E, you want to bar the whole fourth fret. Place the middle finger on the second string, fifth fret. Ring finger on 
the fourth string sixth fret pinky finger goes on the fifth string eighth fret no seventh fret my bad <laughs> my bad i'm looking at it and i still say that all right so here we go so what are you the truth is an offense Watch me now. But not a sin. It's not na 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 na. Is it you? You know? So I play this one. Two on this one. Then two on this one. Before I move to this one. And of course, you hear that little slide? So it's still the one which is actually starting from a semitone down. You know, one tone down. You slide into it. You know, so it takes a little bit of practice, but I promise you will get it. So that would be basically the whole song. So the intro. Children, yeah, to the six. Judge one, five to the six. live children, yeah, my boy. Judge live, I can cheer. Children, yeah. What I did. So there are many ways to do that, and if you wanna know what I play right there, it's still the six. But I play the six here. I spice it up because it's an acoustic and you want to be going places. Right? So. Alright, so you want to bar the wall. Six fret. Alright? You want to place that middle finger on the first string, seven fret. Ring finger on the third string, eight fret. And pinky finger on the second string, ninth fret. He concentrate on the farm, the first four. One, two, three, four. My bad. <coughs> right? So. Children, yeah. So I'll play one on that and then I'll play the next two. Actually, three. So. Children, Right. So you can play two. So as you can see, you can mix the song up a lot. You can move, you can go places, especially due due to the fact that it's an acoustic guitar. You don't want to stay one place because then by the time you get into the middle of the song, you're gonna be like, oh, I want something different. You know what I mean? So move it around. You know, feel it, feel it out. And that is basically it for the song. Now, when you're strumming, you can choose to play. Like you're playing a reg regular, you know, you're playing regular. As well as you can add a little bit of rhythm to it. So. So what you're doing right there, you're basically playing a bit of the beat. So. So you hit in the bass first, then hit bass, then, you know, So as you can see, there are many ways to go about this song. There are many ways to play your acoustic whenever you're playing by yourself, when you're playing reggae. All right, some people play. You know. My bad. So there are really no rules. 
just keep it reggae keep it reggae well i mean you can change if you want but if you intend to play reggae play reggae all right don't try to do any pull any stunts <laughs> all right like so um so yeah you can start to intro like Children, yeah, yeah. Shall live. Children, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can move it around, you can do a lot. Right now, I just jump and mix a little bit of the intro and the verse just now. I mean, once you're playing by yourself, feel it, you know, get comfortable, get creative. All right, but don't get too crazy. All right, because you don't want the song to be, you know, you know unrecognizable. All right, you want people to recognize the song and enjoy what you're doing. All right, don't overdo it, basically. That's what I'm saying. All right, so yeah, I hope you folks find this one helpful. You know, it's just four simple cards. Well, let me not ju- let me not say four simple cards because we got, you know, beginners and we have people having problems with bar cards. But remember, keep practicing keep pushing trust me you will get there my name is zion blessed love remember to subscribe to the channel remember to share remember to hit the like button hit the notification bell after you hit the subscribe button and hit all so whenever i post anything you will be first to know blessed love peace out one love see you next time